welcome to Cosplay Stitch and Seam 2022. I'm Bannon. Woo. I'm Bifire. And I'm David. Woo! <laughs> Yay. We, <laughs> we made it. We made we it made through it. another year. We made it. We, we're here, um, and they can't stop us. <laughs> Who is they? Oh. I don't know yet, but they, I don't know, they can't but they've stop been us. putting in a lot of effort. <laughs> so much effort. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Um, as always, listeners, if you would like to reach out to us, there are several ways you can do that. Uh, first is via email, which is cosplaystitchandseam at gmail.com. Or, or you can go to the googly Google form and on our website at cosplaystitchandseam.com or... Or you can go to our Facebook page and send us your awesome messages there and join our fantastic groups for our Work in Progress Wednesdays. Also, our Discord server, which is a fantastic community of very helpful, very friendly people. Uh, also trying to avoid spoilers in the best ways possible. <laughs> uh, and while you're on the internet, we're going to make this brief because I'm a little under the weather. Uh, if you're on the internet and you want to support the show, we also have the uh, the super secret club where you tell a friend. Leave a review on whatever podcast catcher allows you to review, leave a review or Patreon for $3 a month. We give you a shout out on the show. And for $5 a month, you get to join our uh, D&D live stream. And it's super exciting. Uh, Cosplay Chronicles. 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 <laughs> and uh, we have a lot of fun there as well. We didn't get to do one for January because, again, uh, your health is more important than D&D. And I needed to make that decision where my health was more important than D&D. Yeah. Uh, super important. Yeah. But we'll probably on the Patreon put up some really fun like artwork stuff from all the, the players and just keep an eye out for that. We'll still yeah. keep you entertained. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Um, so yeah, internet stuff. Be kind. Please please help us out, because that helps the algorithm gods be happy with our podcast. Thank you! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have our lovely Fox Beauty Cosmetics, which is Again, foxbeautycosmetics.com. You can use that promo code Stitch and Seam to receive 10% off your purchase of all vegan, not tested on animal products. They just got in a bunch of new lip glosses and eyeshadow and all kinds of fun stuff to check out. So do that if you want. Today is our New Year episode. And since, gosh, is this our third, fourth year doing it? Oh my gosh. Um, I know, it's crazy. Holy crap. (laughs) I know. I'm Um, getting old. (laughs) So every year we like to, I don't know, like evaluate how the last year went and kind of like explore new possibilities. Um, I don't want to get like down on you guys for not completing things in the new, like in the last year, because it has been a lot. There's been so much like... (laughs) I think like David's mentioned this before too, where it's like the new year, it's a great time to like do this kind of stuff or like your yeah. new year last year and all that, but it yeah. never has to be on like new year's. You can do oh, it exactly. in the middle of the year. You can do it anytime you want where you're <laughs> like, you know what? I'm feeling it. Let's do this. <laughs> right. Right. No, it's totally good. And it's always good to just kind of like take inventory of where you're at and what's making you happy and what isn't. Um, so I kind of wanted to start with, that if y'all are comfortable yeah. um, let's talk a little bit about how this last year went for you um any successes you want to tell us about celebrate what what did you do like david your first like performance and awesomeness and mm-hmm. t- tell us about that <laughs> so so yeah my my major success that i had oh man uh i won best performance at bonsai with my hollow knight cosplay so cool um so i'm gonna i'm i'm now uh, officially announcing my retirement um (laughs) i have a hundred percent success rate careful david careful um yeah no um like I've been talking about the Hollow Knight costume on this sh- on this show for years, literally mm. two years. It took me to get get through it, um, and I was just so excited. I like not only to have it done. That's honestly in my eyes more of a success, uh, more of a success than um, winning anything. Mm. Um, I had the goal of I wanted to do this for Bonsai, and I got to it. I got it done. There's glue on so many pieces of clothing that I. We'll pick like I picked up a sock today and I put it on and I was like, why is there like a stiff bit under the oh, it's because I step on glue at one point in my socks. <laughs> um, so it's like, yeah, just getting it done was the best success. And then mm-hmm. 
everything on top of that, going on stage, having the green room experience, uh, winning um being able to like just look at it every now and again go i did that um is such a success for me what what about you two like what what are your successes for the last year oh man that's a good question um (laughs) i i actually did finish a couple of builds which i was pleased with um i finished the shaleon from heaven officials blessing which was, I don't know, it was like a good personal goal and I didn't feel hurried. And so I got to really like take my time and it was actually like done several weeks before Bonsai. So that was nice. Um, and, and I'll consider that a win. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, you should. <laughs> thanks. Um, I learned how to use the knitting machine. That uh, oh, that's I was given right. Last that year. fancy thing. Yeah, it was super fun. Um, I feel like I've gotten okay with that. Um, I still I... have a scarf. Oh yay! I'm glad. I'm glad. My some of my first little baby scarves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else? Uh, I made progress on some of my costumes, which is better than I thought I would do with how the year has gone. Um. Gosh, I'm trying to think of like new things I learned or tried. Like I've been trying to do a little more with resin, just kind of like playing around with that and having fun. Um, I got my baby lock serger fixed so that I could use that, which has been a learning experience because it's an older model. Um, And... Oh, and I finished like some like bags and things that have been sitting in my to do bin, and I kind of like cleaned out my old projects of stuff I'm probably not going to finish. So, yeah, nice, very cool. <laughs> How about you, Mercedes? Yeah, what about you, Mercedes? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like thousand yard stare into the distance of me, like, what did I get done? Ugh. I mean, surviving the year is huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your like not to mention too much of like personal business, but your work has been thriving. It sounds like, yeah, um, uh, sort of. <laughs> I mean, this this was like one of the things that came up where it's like we're do we're performing in like the top percent of all of our centers. That's awesome. That's great internally. Externally, it's still terrible. <laughs> oh no! It's like these are not good numbers. This is the top ten percent. Oh crap! Oh no! Um, <laughs> But at the same time, like, not even, like, work-related, but kind of semi-work-related, you also helped Bonsai do all of the panels stuff. True. And That's you did so that while work. so, so sick. Like, you got food poisoning. Like, yeah. you were managing being, like, a girl boss on top of, like, being like that. I couldn't do that. I know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I think I pushed that out of my brain. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I did. I did do that thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's been a year. Um, I think as far as like cosplays that I finished, like I did get the sky kid done in like a day for Sadie and I. Oh, that's true. Um, and at the beginning of the year, I did the Yellowstone trip. Was that this year? Oh my gosh. That was this year. Oh wow. Yeah. Was that this year? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. These years are blurring together. Um, no, it was because I remember you like building up the suspense for it. Yeah. yeah. And then I have no pictures to show yet. Oh, <laughs> soon. Yes, yeah, soon, soon. But hey, they're going to come. They're going to be great. I've actually been getting photos from a couple photographers. I've got to do a couple dream shoots this year. That's awesome. That's right. I got to do the Yellowstone shoot. I got to shoot with a Frisian stallion. Wow. Um, I got to do a photo shoot with my best friend. Um, as if it's like, fantasy queens because we're garbo um. oh that's so no it's not that's so cute Stop it. <laughs> that's incredibly uh, cute that that was fun actually okay i was like now that i'm actually thinking about it my first initial thing was like i didn't get any of the cosplays done that i planned on mm. but i did get a bonus one done <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did finish a JoJo yeah. one. I did Foo Fighters, which that's right. Oh, yeah, I freaking yeah. love her. So, new season of JoJo. Go watch it on Netflix. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> I jo- just want the other halves. Jo- so, rather than focus on like what failures we had in the last year, I want to like focus on like what did we learn from them? If you had a major malfunction or anything like that, is there something? 
you want to share that you learned? <laughs> Sorry, David. Am I still figuring out how to learn from mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. True, though. Uh, I think one of the biggest ones I learned, and I still, like, do this, but I think I've been learning to do it less, is, like, when I'm not happy with something on a project, instead of, like, continuing till the end of the project and then being unsatisfied, I fix the thing then, <laughs> you know? Like, hmm. if I didn't sew in a sleeve right, or if, like, something is not fitted right, or whatnot i'll look at it and be like i'm kind of unsatisfied with that and so instead of like having it as a thing i will hate later i'll just go fix it mm. before i finish the mm. project if anyone has advice on not over committing oh man <laughs> uh definitely not on this side of the table that's for sure because <laughs> like i I just get so excited about doing stuff and I want to do it with everybody and have all the friends and do all the things and make uh -huh. all the costumes. And I can't just not say, I can't say no. Mm. I have to say yes. Cause it's like, Oh my gosh, I'm excited about that. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know how to say no. Oh, dang. <laughs> that I, is... think, I think one of my major failures for me that like I'm, I'm learning from is, is still sewing. Like, mm. Um, one of the things that I got feedback on was like, hey, your sewing machine tension was too tight. Like, we could see that. And I was like, what? Like, that's amazing that you can just like look at the look at a piece <laughs> of cloth that I sewed lines into. I didn't even sew any seams together, just lines. And they're like, yeah, your tension's too tight. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that's like what I learned is like, oh my gosh, this is this is still one of my weakest points. And mm. it's not a bad thing of like knowing where my weak point is. It's actually kind of reassuring. But yeah, that's right. where, where my failure is like, I need to get better at this. That's cool, though, that you have like a an agenda for how you want to address it, though. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> not an <laughs> or, agenda. OK, OK. At least you're like aware of it, though. So yeah, can, I think I think that's the better way of putting it. Like, I'm aware. Learn from it yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> oh man oh i'm trying to think of like i know i had some like major malfunctions on some costumes but i can't think of like right off the top of my head oh my gosh speak yeah i i failed on like my my giant headpiece three different times like i learned oh, so dang. much from that like I learned better on bevel cuts. I learned better on mock-ups. I started the thing over three different times. Like, oh. uh, I almost swore because it was just like so dramatic of a moment <laughs> of like, I just got to start over. And oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. On that note, like I was teaching a kid with coding today and he kept just wanting to like move ahead and just go, go, go. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's okay to slow down. And try again when your code is not working instead of just like pushing through it. <laughs> mm. And I was like sitting there thinking about that just now with David mentioning that. And I'm just like, I need to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> like making stuff. <laughs> mm. Take your own advice a little. <laughs> <laughs> Good at giving advice, but following my own advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a little less good. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? What? Yeah. <laughs> they are all perfect. <laughs> and how? Um, and how? Uh, how about how have you changed or what's something that you learned in the new year or in the uh, old year rather? Buying a pre made cosplay is kind of awesome. Mm. Yeah. Like, you can still be that character, and you can focus, like, if you're doing crafting stuff, on, like, your energy towards one thing instead of, like, all the things. Mm. Um, I really enjoyed wearing Captain Bido. Like, that was super duper fun. There's definitely a lot of changes I want to make to it, but it was really decent quality for, like, a pre-made send it my way for... Uh, well, I think I spent like 150 bucks total. Not bad. Nice. That is awesome. I think in one of the ways that, that I've changed is like, um, 
no having a goal was so mm. important for me because mm-hmm. I started Hollow Knight in 2020 and we didn't have any cons to look forward to. Um, so knowing for me that I have to have a goal um, and I have to have like a responsibility of like, I need to get this done or else X, Y, and Z. Like mm. um, having to drop out of the um, uh, bonsai tour, sorry, brain fog, uh, of the bonsai competition was dreadful to me. The idea of having to do that and having that fire underneath me was so pivotal. It was just like, I've changed in knowing more about myself by doing, um, having both a cosplay where there is no deadline and a cosplay that there is deadline. Oh, yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, different so that's, kind that's of something. pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's so different. Um, so, yeah. No, that's one of the things that like has changed changed in me of like knowing more about myself. Hmm. Nice. Very cool. What about you, Panon? Oh man. Um, I think one of the things, and I feel like pandemic stuff has kind of forced this upon me in general, is having a better idea of like where I am, like mentally and emotionally when it comes to having spoons to like making things or putting time toward crafting and kind of like, I don't know, getting back to a point where I am treating like crafting and art and things like that as something fun instead of something I have been beating myself up over for not doing as much as I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's really helped my attitude to, you know, not be thinking of it as a chore and be thinking it of like, oh, I'm really excited to make this and I'm excited for this, that, and the other and not like, oh, I have this thing I haven't finished and I'm oh, I'm dragging my feet about it and I'm not excited about it anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just um, having, having a better idea of where I'm at and like what keeps me excited about my hobbies, I think is really good. I love that for you. So, so great. Thanks. Um, let's see. I have a kind of a hard question on this one, and it's how has your mental and emotional health been? Because I know this last year has been something of a roller coaster. Um. <laughs> well, I got on antidepressants this year. Um, nice. Congrats. I, I've done the therapy bit for a while. I feel mm. like, like as far as like coping mechanisms and self-awareness, I feel like I'm really on top of. Um, but I, uh, I'm not afraid to admit I had a a breakdown, a full blown panic attack, um, that I just could not control because I had to go back into a workplace that didn't feel safe. Mm. And, uh, I, I started seeing a new therapist for a little while and she helped me kind of like get some new coping mechanisms that are healthy. Mm. Um, and I started a new medication and I've started seeing, uh, an, an actual like, as 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 a thirty year old adult, I did not have a um, primary care physician mm. un- until now. Like I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what I was doing, um, and so I I went to a really low place in order for me to get into a better place. Um, and it sucks that people get into rock bottom locations to get better. Mm. And at the same time, like. That's honestly where a lot of people do a lot of their hardest, best work is when it's like, I don't know where I can get worse from here. Uh, Yeah, no, that's I'm really glad that you were able to, like, find help and get get more in charge of your own health, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Very good. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, don't feel bad because I was also in my later 30s when I finally did that. So, yeah. It's it's hard and like coming coming from my family as it was not to like do any like traumatic backstory or anything. It's like this this was a hard thing to to kind of like surmise for myself um, mm. was just like look at my past and see what I needed to change for my future. So it's just like getting a, a primary care physician was very important. Um, but but enough about me and and my whining tree um what about the two of you where where has your mental health been where have you uh how have you challenged yourself and grown and all that fun stuff oh man oh dang uh you want to go first mercedes (laughs) 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 uh 
was going to say, I've been on antidepressants for five ever. <laughs> <laughs> but they help. They help with my anxiety. I love it. Oh, um, God. I, actually, when you're talking about, like, primary care physician, I am so, so stinking happy. So, like, I haven't been to the doctor like, I went once after, like, the whole COVID shenanigans started in 2020. Mm. <laughs> and then our insurance switched. And my primary care provider wasn't covered anymore, so I, uh. st- I just didn't oh, go because no. I don't trust anybody except for him. Right. Our insurance just switched again, and I'm going next week, guys. Oh, Heck good. yeah. Good job. I'm so excited. And, like, I know that, like, there's definitely places for my mental health that I need to take better care of myself and I'm working on that um but I think like this year uh, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on my physical health as well Mm. because that will help my mental health um because there's been a couple of like health things physically that have come up that I'm like this is a problem (laughs) right (laughs) and I can keep putting it off or use my husband to make the phone call for me because I hate phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I totally get that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Sometimes okay, it's phone, nice to have phone someone calls to make a, calls. Yeah. yeah. This is such a big part of my job. And like, I will spend an hour just mentally preparing myself to make uh, one mm-hmm. call to a parent. <laughs> Dang. And heaven forbid if it goes to voicemail and then I'm oh, like, Oh no, <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> or if I'm hoping it goes to voicemail and then a person picks up and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mentally prepared for the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, for me, like, it's definitely been a hard year, but I feel like um, I've been trying really hard to do a better job of surrounding myself with people like you guys that like help uplift and remind me of like the things I am good at or the things or like the reasons that I can be a good friend and things like that, you know, (laughs) (laughs) Um, like the job I'm at, I started last February and it's probably like one of the best jobs I've had and I've felt so appreciated and Mm. it totally changes the outlook on having to go to work when you feel like your uh, co-workers appreciate you and that your boss sees your good work and like appreciates that. Um, Mm -hmm. So that is, I I feel like has made a big difference. And Mm -hmm. then um, just like reconnecting, like I, I feel like pandemic has kind of like made me, I don't know, feel like I've been disconnected. So like reconnecting with, friends who like build you up and uh make you feel inspired and want to work on things and i think that's made a big difference in my outlook Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i think that has been good love it (laughs) so now that we've reviewed a little bit of this last year um do we want to talk about 2022 let's do it let's do it Um, we wanted to kick things off by like listening to y'all that sent in some, some of your resolutions and plans and goals. Do you want to read a few Mercedes? Yes. Go grab Sweet. Yours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is cute. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got a few from our Facebook group. You guys are amazing, by the way, uh, that sent in their new year's resolutions, uh, the first one is from uh, Chris. He says, uh, I plan on doing my first Yaoi cosplay. <laughs> nice. That's cute. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, people who are like wanted doing their their cosplays, uh, on our Discord, uh, Game Draco wrote, start on my Mewtwo fursuit cosplay, which sounds oh, yeah. so like overwhelming. I wouldn't even know where to start on something like that. Mm, that was yeah. a big goal. I know where I'd start. I'd the contact feet? Cassini Closet. <laughs> <laughs> no, David, we won't start in defeat. We'll start. Uh, <laughs> David! <laughs> that was a good one, Panda. That was really hey, good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what else do we have on our Facebook? 
Uh, so yeah, Bunny Bunny cosplay says uh, wrapping up the wig for my Cora dress cosplay and hopefully start working on Ray from Star Wars. Ooh, fun! That'd be so cool. Ugh. Let's see, we've got Robert Glasscock that says finishing my Greg the Garlic Farmer costume and work on learning embroidery. Oh Ooh, my gosh. nice! I am so excited to see his Greg the Garlic Farmer because oh, yeah? I watch so many of those videos <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry greg the garlic farmer I, i'm also farmer. lost oh my goodness you guys ah! okay okay hang on a second so yeah so viva la dirt league uh they do uh npc videos so like they they are hilarious it's like uh you know fetch quests and games be like and then they'll they'll act it out they have like high quality <laughs> sets high quality oh, costumes okay. oh, that's so fun i have it's, seen some of their stuff yeah and greg the garlic farmer is just the iconic npc character in it <laughs> and i don't know i just i love watching those so oh, much that sounds fun <laughs> okay uh, yeah I've, I've seen their like um customer service tech yes. store oh, ones no. okay their I have seen their ones are so funny too. Uh, uh, okay, so okay. on top of on top of that, we also have Kai from our Discord saying, uh, "My goal is to attend more out of state events and photo shoots and get into foam crafting." Ooh, um, yes. Man, I cannot wait for you to like explore foam crafting because it's the best. Mercedes and it's I did really a whole fun. panel on it at Bonsai. It was so great. It was so much fun. Yay! <sighs> good, good, good. I'm opening uh, up more and more to foam crafting. Yay! I, I had that terrible first experience with it, but like the more I've been using it, like I've I've got a few costumes coming up where I'm like, okay, foam crafting is gonna happen. I'm mm. glad because mm-hmm. I know you were so against it to start. Oh, I hated it. <laughs> There's something that changed over the last year. There I you have go. come to hate foam less. <laughs> <laughs> Not like it, but just hate it less. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe by the end of this year, I'll love it. (laughs) There you go. Like it, love it, want some more of it. Uh, What else we got on Facebook? Uh, Eric Ronan Powers uh, says uh, he needs to finish Samus this year. Yes. Yes. Do it. I want to see it. Samus cosplay good. Troftkos says, my resolution for the new year is to get over my imposter syndrome that says I'm not good enough to join contests and actually go join cosplay contests. Oh do my it, gosh. Do, do it. it. Do it. Oh my yes. god. cheer. I'll just be like, do it, do it. Okay. You can uh, do it. Troftkos, <laughs> if I can do it, me, if I can do <laughs> it, anybody can do it. Honestly, the bar is so low. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I, this is this is coming from the guy who like did very little cosplay work before meeting the two of you and now it's just like i feel like i can do anything yeah so like, good you, you've got this like if you need hype man reach out to us on our discord because uh, like we will <laughs> hype you the f up like nice. yes nice oh i, I, I love I, that I, I should make a hype channel <laughs> yes yes we should make a hype channel in the discord i'm <laughs> like, doing that right guys, now i need i need hype about this i need to get stoked and yes i love that yes. there's discord okay um, i'm making it right now everyone's gonna be like what is this before this episode airs and i'll just be like you'll find out um oh. well, speaking of discord we also have x angels also on the hype train always on the hype train yeah um they they write, so far it's getting my level up expo stuff finished, moving and figuring out our new space. Moving has been delayed yeah. and we've got three birthdays this week on top of the holidays. Ooh. That was back in December. Ooh. So like, I hope you survived, X-Angel, because that sounds horrendous. Dang. No, I'm really excited <sighs> to see all the cosplays people have been posting about for level up. So I think it will be really neat. Um <sighs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have bad news oh, oh no, no! <laughs> oh no so alex Luis, and i are gonna put level off for another year oh. you know what that is okay that's fine alex and i have decided that level up is cursed for us and we have to make it happen Aww, next year because we yeah. both have been trying to go for like three years now and uh, it keeps yeah. not happening <laughs> Yeah, oh. dang it. You know, but having the like maturity to say it's not a good time, it's not going to happen. <sighs> it was it so stinks, hard for us. But... It, yeah, it was so hard for us to come to that decision. Yeah. I, like, 
message them it, like literally earlier this week i was like guys oh, we sad. need to meet and talk about this dang it yeah. Yeah. But, but we still we, want to see progress on those costumes because oh they gosh, look really yes. cool yeah and we can work slower on them now and really add the details that we want to yeah, and yeah. i can actually like focus on programming the robot to the full extent that i wanted and not programming the, code the I was robot doing. oh yeah i'm making a robot for your skin? Gonna you actually have a run robot? around. What? <laughs> I, I got a robot for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Just gonna casually. Stick, yeah, I'm gonna stick Terrico on top of it, and it's the ideal plan is that I can control it from a Sheikah slate. Uh-huh. Um, oh my gosh. But this is my cosplay bot 9000 and <laughs> Um, it's actually, it's like a, a little kid's robot because it Aww. programs in block code, which I know how to do for sure. Um, but it also does Python because it has a cyber pie in it, uh-huh. which means I can learn Python at the same time. <laughs> wow. It's just, my brain is exploding with Futurama cosplays for some odd reason. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, yes. doing, doing a fry or something and then having like a little bender walking out or some, <laughs> some nonsense. <laughs> Hedonism Cute. bot 9000? I don't know. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh man, that'll be so cool. I'm very excited. Do we have um, any more on the Facebook? We do, yes. yeah. Uh, got two let's more. see. I've got practice. Uh, this one's from Lynn. It says practice making more cosplay ears. Support more small artists by buying art and accessories online at conventions. Eat Yay. healthier and work on my self confidence. I believe I in you, love Lynn. Those, yeah. Like one of my favorite things at cons is always to like check the artist alley and support as many artists as we can. Mm-hmm. And I love supporting local artists. Yeah, and I've loved Etsy and other like online. I know Etsy has its downfalls but there are a lot of like places online you can go to buy art and support artists and like i feel like now more than ever artists who are bringing like beauty and hope into the world need support also yeah so. yes yes and like uh there's so many good ones out there uh I sh- Ooh, we should also make an art sharing channel <laughs> on discord i think, I I think, think we make- have one do we yeah i think we have one for art I don't think uh, we've got uh, just art? chatting. We got fan creations. Oh, fan- that's the one. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sorry, David. <laughs> no, you're good. Like speaking of like, I have Christmas gifts for the both of you that I got specifically Aww. from like smaller creators and whatnot. And I was really excited to give them to you and just. Uh, and suddenly everything's COVID. Been so crazy. Uh, We're going to have. We. <laughs> Yeah. We should do a literal Christmas in July thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. That might be what happens, to be yes, honest. Yes, right? yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, what, what's the last one on our Facebook, Pandon? Uh, oh. You want to go, Mercedes? Uh, you, got, you got it, or you want me to go? Yes, I found it. I was okay. like on the I was on the Discord again. <laughs> <laughs> you good, you're good. Uh, Momo says, uh, not starting another cosplay until I've finished the other work in progresses. Mood. Good luck. <laughs> like, yeah, good luck. It's not that I... I don't believe in you, it's just I don't believe in me to do that. <laughs> Dude, okay, <laughs> I have, again, you, I've, I've said this all last year, it's like, I have, like, so many different piles of fabric for all these different costumes, and I need to just finish what I have and not start anything new. Mm. By the way, I'm starting something new. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're canceling Level Up, and Luis has this awesome Deku princess, like, cosplay i want to do like a deku link to match it uh, oh that's awesome i need to stop making costumes but also it's gonna be so cute <laughs> never stop making costumes never <laughs> making new costumes i should say but also oh man never <laughs> no i actually like came to a, a, a realization as i was cleaning out my art room and i used to make a lot of those like bags and things and uh i i found it does not spark joy as much as it used to like i like making them Mm -hmm. for family and friends and the occasional like someone comes to me with a really cool idea but i probably am not going to make them as much as i used to just because i want to focus on things that make me happy heck yeah i love that for you yeah yeah what what, what costume goals do you have panon 
Okay, costume goals. Um, that's a good one because I have all these projects that I have fabric for and things like that, and I have not like really tucked into or I've only got halfway into. I have several that have been on my list for a while. I do like I know I wore the Crown Prince costume at Bonsai, but it's not finished the way I want it to be. So I really want to finish that one. I have one of Wei Wushan from the Donghua that I really want to finish that's mm. so close. I was going to try to have it finished for ALA, but um, it just didn't happen and I needed to focus on other things. So I'm going to try to have that one done uh, in time for Soccer Con, which would be really awesome. Uh, the other ones that are like just like dream goal ones, uh, let's see. I started a uh, Kongiku, who's like a fox spirit from Muramasa, which is mm-hmm. like a video game. I don't know if a lot of people have played, but she's really cool looking. And I have her all cut out and I have all these leaves that go on her kimono hand painted and I just haven't finished it. So I really want to finish that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I want to, uh, I don't know if finish, but at least make some hard progress on Celadon from the Dark Crystal. Like, oh. I really want to enter that into a major competition, but I've only finished the, like, undermost layer and some of the petticoats, and I keep looking at it going, I need to finish this. <laughs> I want to work on it. Pan and and I, yeah. I need to get Hup done. Yes, and do Hup. Also, <laughs> Luis and Alex might also have some plans Heck around yeah, that, so, like, we'll it. all have to chat. Um, yes. That would be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because, yeah, there are a whole lot of things with that one that I want to do because it has so many, like, mixed media with the wings and with the crown and with the, like, back pieces and the fabric. It just is, like, a really cool all-around costume that I've been wanting to sink my teeth into and make time for. Um, Let's see. Oh, I really want to do Tifa from the Final Fantasy VII remake. And I had her skirt finished and like her top mostly done and just need to do all her accessories. Um, You would rock Tifa. I love Tifa so much. She's, oh, I actually cosplayed her back when I was still in high school. (laughs) She was like so favorite. And I mean, it was like a tank top and a mini skirt and punching gloves, but Love it. <laughs> I was like, it I'm counts. Tifa. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> um, so th- those are the biggest ones. If I finished even like one or two of those, I think I would be really excited. What about you guys? Uh, I have two. And these are the only two that I have currently and probably will be added as I continue to consume media. Yes. Uh, The first one is one that I mentioned forever ago of like, I want to do Young Guts uh, from Berserk Mm -hmm. before he joins the, uh, before he joins the Band of the Hawk. uh, I think that'd be like a fun, more simple cosplay, but I still get to have the giant sword because I love swords. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, And, uh, Panon was was talking about a few cons that we might want to go to throughout the year and and not to announce or spoil or anything, you know, because who knows what's going to actually happen. Right. Um, But one of them I was talking about with Kaylin and trying to figure out what I want to do. And I think I'm going to challenge my sewing skills. (gasps) Yes. And I'm going to do Sailor Freddie Mercury. (gasps) Oh, my gosh. Yes. (laughs) Love it. I love that for you. Oh, I thank you. Thank you. This. I actually got my sister-in-law a secular saint Freddie Mercury cal- uh, candle oh, <laughs> for I love Christmas. That so much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's my sewing challenge to myself. I cannot mm. wait to fail and learn and try new things. I have some great sailor suit patterns I can suggest to you. <laughs> Please do. Heck yes. Awesome. <laughs> um, what about you, Mercedes? I know you have several like in progresses. Is there any that you're like, ah. it's gonna be done? <laughs> uh okay. I am really, 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 really hoping to get Sabriel from the Porson books yeah. done this year. Um because I have everything for it. I just need to start sewing it and finishing pieces that I've already started and all that mm. kind of stuff. Um, I, I think I might have to to follow along with the the resolution of like finishing what I have. 
mm. before I make new ones. Um, I mean, other than the ones I've already overcommitted myself on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like Deku Scrub Link in the style of uh, Summoner Dorbat's uh, Deku Princess. That's going to happen. That's still going to happen. Good. Um, Pup, I really do want to make and like go get photos with you, Pannon, because it would be awesome. Yeah. I keep all of my scrap fabric so that he will be literally made out of garbage. I um, love it. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, I have all the fabric for Snow Quill Link, and I am going to be slowly working on and making sure I get the details how I want them to be with uh, Royal Armor Link. Um, so that way, next year for level up, we can have that looking just pizzazzy. Um, I'm gonna code a robot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of huge. Um, yeah, and uh, just casually uh, gonna code a robot. Just no casually, yeah, just casual. Like Dude, anybody could do that. Right? <laughs> with, with my job at this point, it's like yeah, I could casually do that. <laughs> 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 um, I I. Um, I I also have like fabric and whatnot for a costume for my mom that I want to finish and get done so that by essentially by like the next winter, so not this winter, but next winter, I want to go and do a bunch of like book photo shoots. Mm. Um, because like my mom's character that she wants to cosplay is from a book, Sabriel's from a book, they all take place in winter. I want to go do like a fun shoot with that. <laughs> yeah, do it. Um, and the the drifter oh hey, yeah drifter yeah yeah i have no deadline for him but i want to keep working on him because like i'm loving the details that i have so far mm. and i just want to keep pushing that and just learning new skills as i go with that and also like throwing out dedication to one of my favorite games out there you know <laughs> nice that's awesome yeah. Do not be surprised if I add to the list continuously throughout the of year. But that's just how I work. The okay. year is young. Right. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see. Uh, what about like a new skill? Is there any new skills you guys are super interested? David, you mentioned sewing, which yep. is a big one. That's my biggest uh, one. What about you two? Oh, man. <laughs> um, I For me, one of the ones I'm most excited but also scared for is on um, Celadon, and it's her fairy wings. Because uh, I've never worked with the kind of, like, plastics that they suggest for those. Um, I've been, like, studying so many tutorials, but I've never actually done any of that. So, making fairy wings. I like that. Oh, I love this. I want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> what What are you excited to learn on on your costuming progress, Mercedes? Uh, I mean, more about foam to the point where I'm not going to hate it, and it's the durability. I, I know what I hate about it. It's the durability that I hate, mm. and I think I'm solving that by using Apprentice cosplay foam because that stuff is much more durable than yeah. Harbor Freight. Uh -huh. Um, I want to do more sculpting. Uh, you know, I'm gonna like code a robot. That's gonna be a new thing for me. That, um, yeah. But like, I don't know if I'll learn Python, but I will do the bl block coding. I don't know if I'll learn Python this year because I already have to figure out. Like, I'm learning JavaScript and C sharp for my job. Mm. Um, I'm getting more confident with JavaScript. C sharp, I have absolutely no confidence in. <laughs> Dang it. But I'm teaching a class on it, like, started that a week ago, oh, teaching geez. this class. And so, so you gotta I'm... get confident on it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta you know... get good, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slight crying in my heart. But... Oh, no. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, man. Um... But yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I'm I'm excited for a lot of different things, so... I, you know, I, I also like to be flexible. So like whatever comes my way, I'll be like, oh, shoot, this will be cool. And I'll try that new thing out. So, yeah. Yeah. I like but also that. probably set a schedule for myself better. <laughs> Love that. 
Yeah. That is also great. great I have a message hear. from a friend who's like, are we going to plan out when we're working on these costumes? And I'm delaying messaging her being <laughs> like, yes, we are going to plan this out and set a schedule. But also, I'm terrible at keeping a schedule. But I'm uh-huh. using her to help me keep one <laughs> for Good. once in my life. <laughs> Good. I like so, to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. What so you, David? Oh, I already did mine. Oh, you did so yours. Mean. Never mind. Yeah. Ignore me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, we kind of talked about like what conventions and photo shoots and things. Like, is there any Mercedes? I know you're excited to do one for your Sabriel cosplay. Um, any other like photo shoots or things? Like, I hesitate to plan too hard on conventions, especially with how COVID mm-hmm. numbers are spiking. Um. But any any big plans as far as those go? I'd love to do a photo shoot with with Hollow Knight. Um, Ooh, yeah! Put yes. some finishing details. Um, I need to redo the gloves. Um, Forging S'mores is a cosplayer that I follow on YouTube, and she did a like a Dragon Age tutorial, not tutorial, oh, cool. but like this is the build, and she printed the pieces for her her gloves, mm. uh, like all the fingerprints, and I was like, why the heck didn't I think of this? <laughs> so uh i'm probably gonna redo the gloves do some like like small detail pieces and then see if i can get a photo shoot with somebody that maybe reach so out cool. to um sudi from silver fire studios and yeah. uh, reach out to her uh but that's that's like my one of my big goals for for me personally is is do a photo shoot um uh yeah that's that's that's, that's a great that's one like it it can feel like a learning curve, but it's so good to have like photos and stuff to show people like, look what I made. And yeah, exactly. I love that. Cool. What about you guys? I don't think I have any specific photo shoots in mind. I've been wanting to do one out at the Peace Gardens for um, either the Untamed or the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, which I've almost got that costume done for. Um but I you have peace gardens and then like these very like non peaceful sounding things. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like the longest mouthful of 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 a show, but like the like rooftops in some of the areas like are perfect for what I want to do, Ooh. and so love it. That would be super fun for me. What about you, Mercedes? Uh, I mean, outside of the snow photo shoots, like right. um. I still like have that goal of like traveling places across, you know, the West Mm. and getting really cool photos in cosplay with whichever photographers are willing to come along with me for it kind of thing, you know? (laughs) Depending on everything, it might be the Forbidden West. (laughs) I know, right? (laughs) Uh, Right? uh, Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to resist throwing Aloy into my list for this next year. Uh (laughs) There's been a couple outfits I've seen in the trailers where I'm like, oh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. No, Mercedes, you already have your plate full, but I really love that one. (laughs) And then that like Breath of the Wild 2 will have a new trailer too, and I'll be like, shoot, I need that too. Right, exactly. (laughs) Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited and terrified for more Breath of the Wild. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I they need to release something because like I have expended all of my lore crawling over the current <laughs> trailers. Oh no, you need more lore. I need <sighs> something to drool over, please. Just drop me a picture. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Uh let's see. Do 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 Oh, this is a good one. What is something you can do for yourself, either your emotional, mental, or physical well-being in the coming year? Be okay with taking breaks. That's a very Ooh, good one. I don't need to be called out like this, Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> That has been something that already starting this year I've had a problem with where I'm like, I spent all day in bed. I need to be okay with days like that. I don't yeah. get two days in a row for my my weekends right now, uh-huh. and I need to be okay that I spend one of the days that I have off during the week in bed. It's fine. Right. It's hard to think that way, but... It is. It's super hard. I gotta allow it. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, only, only I, in the long run. 
I need to learn to like lower my my expectations of myself. I think that's mm. going to be healthy for me because one of the things that I've been practicing in is like um, when I see like a, a cosplayer person make something on YouTube or I see a photo and like I can see the seam line toxic me um, when I'm in not a very mental health ment- mentally healthy place. I will like mm, I don't like that. Um, one of the things that I've been trying to do is like, I wouldn't like that if it was my prop, but like, I also understand that like sometimes the, that goalpost is just getting it done. Right. Mm-hmm. Or um, setting that guideline of like, what's going to be something that satisfies me. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like having, having that kind of like a brain fog moment, I'm so sorry, you guys, yeah, I don't okay. even know, remember how this sentence started at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> um, so like having having like looking at it something and knowing when it's going to be satisfying for me versus like what's going to be that small detail that only I'm going to notice and recognizing right. those pieces. Because I bet gotcha. you anything that there's probably shortcuts uh, that I took on my Hollow Knight piece that somebody goes, I wouldn't be satisfied with that piece. If, if I were building that, mm. I would want to do I would want to focus on that area or this area. And that's not a bad thing being able to like. I wouldn't be satisfied with that. I'm glad that sure. they're satisfied with that. But man, it would really bug me if I saw this on my piece that I was making, but I didn't make it. So I don't have room to really judge. You know what I mean? Sure. Oh man, that's such a ramble. I'm so sorry. No, no. It, and it, it can be hard, but it's very good to like find that healthy distance mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. like, remember that like other people's work isn't a reflection of you. Yeah. And mm-hmm. all that. So that's cool. I like that one. What about you, Pannon? What about yeah. me? Um, yeah, you can't you can't just ask us questions and not expect us to throw it back at you. <laughs> oh man. Um so I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I'm really uh putting my foot down and getting into therapy this year. Love so it. So I am like hesitant to make too many goals for how that's going to go because I don't want to set myself up for failure. But just, I think, getting my foot in the door and um, I guess, like, opening up more even to, like, a therapist is a really good plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's for emotional and mental. Um, For physical, I'm actually, like, super excited because my brother surprised me out of nowhere and bought me an oculus for christmas <gasps> which is like, yeah i know i was like huge <laughs> oculus party 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 party, yeah. party 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 um <laughs> so i've been playing a lot of beat saber and <laughs> may have gone a little like ham on downloading albums for that um oh yes but it's also like so when back back in the day what like 2001 2000 ish when ddr was really big and first coming over like i was so into ddr and i played it like every day and i had like you know thighs that could break watermelons and (laughs) you know you know what i mean where like i just like i love rhythm games and it makes me love the physical activity and finding that connection of like oh i like Beat Saber is something I really enjoy doing and it is something I could see myself like I don't want it to become a chore, but I could enjoy physical activity if I'm doing that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um so so getting more into physical activity I think is really helped finding like diets that fit with you know, like you said, finding your primary care provider, but like finding like a diagnosis for like what's the best route for you? Not necessarily to like lose weight, but to be a healthy person. Yeah. Um, and I think I, I made some changes last year in that regard. And I think it has helped a ton for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so just continuing on that, um, I don't like to make like solid number goals for like stuff like weight loss because Mm -hmm. it, it, it puts me in a bad place, but being able to like, eat in a way that is healthy for me has made a huge difference um so yeah those are my goals (laughs) that's great i love it so much yeah 
We have gone on a bit this episode, but it has just been so good to talk to you guys again. Yeah. Um, I've missed you guys. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to see you and record in person again sometime soon. Yeah. Um, do we have some horror stories? Anything to to finish out the day? Oh, man. We've got some great horror stories. I've got oh, one yes. on our Discord. Please. Um, this is from Trough Cause. This is a little while ago. Trofkos writes, I almost forgot this one, and I'm happy I remembered because it's too good not to share. Ooh. Way back in the day, wigs weren't very easy to get a hold of. Uh, so my friends and I usually just dyed, cut, and styled our own hair for the characters <laughs> we were going to cosplay. Uh-huh. This is the story of the one time I went really wrong. Oh, boy. It was the night before the convention. <laughs> We were all gathered at my friend's place, and we were all doing last-minute touch-ups on our cosplays. For me, this meant dyeing my hair blue for my Ajito Akito cosplay from Air Gear. from Air Gear. Holy cow, that takes me back. My hair was home-bleached from red, so it was rather splotchy orangey yellow. And thanks to this, we were a bit worried if the dye would work at all. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So just to be sure, we decided to use two full jars of Directions hair dye and just cross our fingers and oh. hope that more hair that more dye meant it would cover better. Uh. And I mean, we were kind of right. We dyed it, <laughs> let it sit, and rinsed it out, and my hair was blue, all right. But uh-huh. so were my hands uh. and arms uh. and face. Uh. <laughs> oh. Um, I looked. Ooh, da, ba, de, da, ba, da. Oh, I man. looked like Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and no. the dye would not come off. Oh no! I tried to get the dye off by scrubbing my skin red with makeup wipes, water, soap, and whatever I could get my hands on. But alas, nothing worked. So I spent an entire convention weekend. And the week following, blue in all senses of the word. Needless to say. I turned oh, to wigs after this and never, ever looked back. Oh, dang. Oh, man, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ooh. I definitely have had some bad hair experiences as far as cosplay, and that is why I love wigs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so much so. Oh, man. Well, if you listeners at home would like to share a story with us, there are a bunch of ways you can do that. Uh, you can do that via email at cosplaystitchandseam at gmail.com or... Uh, and real quick before we go to the or part of that, the uh, emails, uh, we are a little bit behind on reading a couple of those, but they are going to end up in future episodes. Don't worry about it, guys. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I promise they're coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, or you can go to the website and fill the googly Google form at cosplaystitchandseam.com or... Go to the Facebook page and send us your message there, and we'd love to see it, share it with everybody, as well as our Discord page, uh, our Discord server. Uh, We have a whole channel dedicated to just uh, the horror stories, and we get to really relate, and they don't have to be long, ornate things. They can just be like, uh, just like how Dr. Steggy wrote in one of just saying, um, the con I was at. I was just talking to a very young cosplayer, and, and at some point, that she sighed and, de- and described wig styling as hairspray and pain. Like, that's beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, and while you're on the internet, if you want to support the show, there are many different ways to do that. Tell a friend, leave a review wherever you are listening, if they allow it. Spotify will allow reviews pretty soon, what, I, what I've been reading. Um, we also have um, a Patreon. If you are feeling so inclined for a few dollars towards us to keep the lights on, uh, patreon.com forward slash cosplay stitch. Some of the amazing people that are helping uh, that we need to thank. One of them is Remy Stoa. I'm probably butchering that. Please let me know if I am. Livy, Yggdrasil, Dr. Steggy, James Donaldson, Cynics, at Queer Eye Sci Fi. Hell Cause, Hot Riku, Rena Mira, Jazzy Kofed, Jaguar Quinn, Gloria Shu, Sudi, Stacy Pitt, Shock H, and Silver, Silver Deeds. Deeds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank I get you that guys really so low much. bass right now. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> really nailing that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks as always to uh, foxbeautycosmetics.com for giving us that promo code stitch and seam if you want to get 10% off your purchase of all vegan not tested on animal products 
And huge thank you to Macy Roberts for the use of her music as our theme song and to David for, despite being infected, always editing and doing such (laughs) amazing work with getting us these episodes. You are wonderful, and I am glad you are taking time to rest. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. How, Uh, How are your podcasts going? They are going so great. I have two readers for season two of The Last Voice, my post-apocalyptic story. Um, I even made a fun little website. Um, (gasps) Yes. It's uh, lastvoicepod.com. Um, and it's got some more pictures that I took on the photo shoot that I did years ago. Um, and, uh, if you wanted to check that out, go there. Um, I also have a little about me that promotes this podcast, Comic Trades Monthly, where we talk about, uh, your favorite comic book collection in a book club format. We got to talk to a local artist here in, here in Utah, uh, for a story that she did. And I've been a big fan of hers forever. So it was kind of like a big fan moment for me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your stuff. Um, and then also Dungeons and Chill if you enjoy D and D vibes. Uh, it's on hiatus for right now, but you know I'll probably get bored at some point and just need a new campaign because I'm okay. a masochist like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh man! You know, for years I have loved watching them drop the ball in Times Square, so I was kind of sad to see like less of that but it's always been a reminder of what i've done all year which is drop the ball (laughs) (laughs) i'll see you later everybody happy new year happy new year Year. Bye. bye